dozen workers are now on strike at General Motors factory down in Arlington, Texas, to be specific. Yep, and it's the latest escalation of the uh, UAW's battle with the big three, Ford, Stellantis, and GM. At least 45,000 employees are picketing across the country. That's a lot. Stephanie Haynes live outside uh, one plant. This is uh, one of GM's biggest automaking facilities. I mean, this is huge. Texas, everything's bigger in Texas. Exactly. Everything is bigger in Texas, and I have been inside this plant. It is massive. They make those full-sized SUVs, which are very popular cars, not only for you, the consumer, but also for first responders and emergency crews. They buy these cars. And although UAW President Sean Fain has says there has been progress in these negotiations, no one knows how long this will last or who will blink first. The picket line in the United Auto Workers strike has extended to Texas. 5,000 workers have walked off the job at the General Motors plant in Arlington. We're not asking uh, for the world. We're just asking to be paid for a fair day's work for a fair day's pay. It is reportedly the company's biggest cash cow, churning out scores of full-size SUVs, a process that has now come to a halt. So these types of vehicles, there's enough inventory now, but the issue is that if they stop making them, and that inventory starts to dwindle, the prices are going to go up. And I think this is going to hurt both the union members and the automakers as well if it continues beyond just a couple more weeks and we head into the holidays. In its quarter three letter to shareholders, GM writes it has presented its most significant offer to UAW with more than $40 per hour by the end of the term. And quote, they've demanded a record contract. And that's exactly what we've offered for weeks now. But union workers say that's still not enough. When your your third quarter profits are three and a half billion, and to date you're 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 around ten million, uh, and uh, our workers haven't had a decent raise now over two contracts. It's uh it's our time. The strike in Texas comes the day after nearly 7,000 workers walked off the job at the Stellantis plant in Michigan. The company is reportedly offering a 23% wage increase over four years. Ford also telling reporters it is reaching its limit on pay increases. Since the strikes began, there have been more than 6,000 layoffs across the three automakers. And with this latest escalation in Texas, the so, White House you know, says kind of it is monitoring things options. closely. Believe that if all, everyone comes together in good faith, that there could be a win win uh, agreement. And so uh, we're going to let them have those negotiations, continue to have those conversations. Back here in Arlington, there are small pockets of strikers just placed around this massive plant. This came on the same day that GM released its quarterly results, uh, which were better than expected. And it, GM says that this strike has already cost them more than $800 million. As for the strikers who are out on the picket line, they have a $500 weekly allowance that comes from the fund that they pay into with their union dues. Marky. Yeah, we'll see how long that uh, that rainy day fun lasts. I understand they've been out there all night, and I imagine we'll see that crowd grow larger as the sun continues to rise. We'll check back in with you uh, in just about an hour. Stephanie Haynes, thanks from Arlington, Texas, this they, morning. They are committed. They're committed. Uh, we have for no sign that this is going to stop anytime soon. All summer long now. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.